trust income retains the same character when distributed to a beneficiary as if it had been received by the trustee. For example, if the trustee receives a fully frank dividend, the beneficiary will need to gross up the dividend income and would be entitled to a franking credit tax offset. Previously, trustees could stream or direct different types of income to different beneficiaries, as long as the trustee permitted it. As a result, dividends could be specifically distributed to those beneficiaries who could best use the attached franking credits. In the same way, capital gains could be distributed to beneficiaries who have available capital losses with which to offset those gains. Since the Bamford decision, streaming is still available as directed by the trust deed. However, only for capital gains and frank distributions under modified rules that apply from the 2011 financial year and for later tax years. Where a trustee streams capital gains and or frank distributions, the beneficiary becomes specifically entitled to a particular amount that is referable to a trust taxable income rather than trust income. For the year ended 30 June, the Graham Family Trust reported rental income of $320,000. Fully frank dividends of $280,000. Franking credits of $120,000. Loan interest expense of $200,000. And a capital gain of $800,000. The net taxable income for the year is $920,000. As the trustee empowers the trustee to stream different classes of income, the trustee resolved to distribute 100% of the dividend income to Tony and $200,000 of the discounted capital gain to Cheryl as specific entitlements. All other income will be split 50-50 between Steve and Mike. To affect this distribution, the streaming provisions require a series of six steps to be followed. Firstly, we determine the division six percentages. The trust deed indicates that trust income equals net income, but franking credits are excluded from trust income. Secondly, we need to adjust the division six percentages based on the removal of the specific entitlements. For step three, we apply subdivision 115C and allocate capital gains according to specific entitlements and the remaining capital gains based on the beneficiary's adjusted Division 6 percentages. Step 4 requires applying Subdivision 207B and allocating the frank dividends according to the specific entitlements. Step 5 requires the calculation of assessable amounts under Division 6E. In this case, Division 6E income and Division 6E net income are the same at $320,000 each. And finally, Step 6 reveals the overall taxable position of the beneficiaries. To recap, it is important to note that when a trust wishes to stream frank dividends and capital gains according to the trust deed to specific beneficiaries, the modified rules in Division 6 and Division 6E and the six-step process need to be followed.